Wink News went aboard a Royal Caribbean cruise ship giving out meals. Reporter Brooke Schaefer and photojournalist Mike Danielewski heard their stories. This day is little Angelique's fourth birthday. But instead of a party at home, she, her four siblings and their mom boarded this Royal Caribbean cruise ship, leaving everything they know behind. Can you describe what it looks like on the island right now? Done. Far from where it once was. Akila Moxie and her kids are among the nearly 300 people the government approved that morning to evacuate their home of Freeport after devastation from Hurricane Dorian. We didn't sleep until about two days after, two and a half days after, you know, because the different winds, you know, it was coming stronger one minute, it sounded like it died down, then the next minute it come like it just come to carry everything. On the ship, evacuees got the chance to sleep, eat, and get medical attention if needed before getting off just a few hours later in Nassau. Some of the 261 evacuees, children from a Freeport orphanage. There's nothing available at home, really. It's, it's hot, it's miserable, and most of the homes are devastated. As the storm rolled through, Moxie said her biggest worry... I can't swim. I have five kids with me, but I have to protect, you understand? If, in fact, the flood did came there, like, what would have been the next option? Her plan now in Nassau to find work for herself and get her kids enrolled in school. But for a few hours, they got a break from their heartbreaking reality. You can't sleep because you don't know, you know, if this water coming up, if the roof can blow off, if the windows can blow out, you understand? So you don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. Just had to ride it out. Sounds terrifying. That's why it was. In Nassau, Bahamas, Brooke Schaefer, Wink News. Now. Nassau largely escaped damage, and being the capital, there's disaster relief there and several shelters.